Hi Crafty Planner, welcome to my channel. I'm Tina. Thanks so much for joining me today. If this is the first time you have visited my channel, then thank you so much for stopping by. Please consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, and that way you won't miss any of my content. If you have already subscribed to my channel, then thank you very much and welcome back. So today I'm going to be planning a little bit differently. I'm going to be planning in this vertical planner here, and this is my Teresa Collins planner. And I, in the past, have done a creative plan with me in this particular planner here. So I'm going to be doing the same thing this week, and I'm going to be planning out the week of Valentine's. So uh, this one right here is my horizontal planner, and I am going to be planning out the same week, but a little bit more of a functional planning in that particular spread. So the sticker books that I will be using are going to be the flowers and then this happy memory keeping holiday sticker book and I'll be using those in my Teresa Collins planner, the vertical. And in this one right here is going to be, um, this is the mega sticker book and that's the rainbow one and I will be using that one in my horizontal layout. It's got some really, um, really fun functional stickers in there. So this one right here is going to be my creative plan with me and I'm going to move this one to the side and that way I can, um, I'm going to start with this one here. So I'm going to speed things up here and first thing I like to do is take the pages out whenever I do any planning. It is just the one thing I really love about the Happy Planner. I can take the pages out and move them around however I need to. Now here I have already done some pre-planning and I have these really cute um, stickers that I created, a silhouettes of that couple and then a couple of other little stickers there. And what I did there is I just, I love the silhouettes so I decided to find a couple of pictures that I really liked and I settled on the couple. I thought that that was really pretty and I created that. Um, so what? I just printed it on the sticker paper. And here I am adding in these big florals. I love these florals. Now this one down here at the bottom, there is a quote at the bottom of this page, but I decided that I wanted to cover up part of it. And um, so and I'm just kind of trimming some of the uh, sticker down. So I decided to keep that where it says your dreams because I thought that that was really um, nice for you know Valentine's week. And I'm just creating like a frame around the page here with these florals. I love the florals from this book. I actually wasn't quite sure about the paper sticker florals, but I love them. They're so nice and you don't have to worry about covering things up. Like when you use the plastic stickers, you know, you have to worry about that. Now this silhouette, I just found this picture. I googled, you know, couple silhouettes and I settled on this one because I just thought it was really, really sweet. And I, you know, printed that on Avery sticker paper, the full sheet sticker paper, along with these little cherubs here and um, the Be My Valentine. So those, I just put those on that paper and printed that up, and then I just cut them up, or cut them out, not cut them up. <laughs> I cut them out, and I don't have a fancy like Cricut or Silhouette machine, so, you know, just fussy cut them with scissors and um, worked out perfectly. So now here I am using my white gel pen to cover up some lines here. I love the white gel pen. It is a great little tip. I don't remember where I saw it from, but I just love that and it works perfectly. You do have to let it dry a little bit. It's a little cleaner look than using the white out tape. I do use the white out tape often, but the uh, for like just covering up thin lines, I really like that. So now here I sort of ran out of florals in, in the paper stickers, but there were still some that same print in the clear stickers. So that's what I am using here. 
and I had not really planned this out. So I decided I wanted to have more florals framing the page. So I just put that like sticker across both pages here. So I'm just kind of trimming this off now and uh, using my X-Acto knife. And then of course I have to split the page because I decided I wanted the sticker to go like across both pages there. Of course I'll have to add in that punch at the bottom, which I do later on. Now here I'm using the remaining stickers that I cut and I'm just adding that uh, to the top. I wasn't sure if I was going to be happy with the fact that I had like paper stickers and then clear stickers mixed, but you know, you don't really see it. it I think it looks great, so I was pretty happy with that. I'm really using up like all of those floral stickers. And I grabbed this sticker, Feeling Loved, and um, these like little hearts and arrows and I got those from a page in the Happy Memory Keeping sticker book, the holidays one. There's like a whole page of Valentine stickers in there and they're just really cute. So no, I did um, print this on that Avery sticker paper. And that Avery sticker paper is great. It is like a full sheet, so you can, you know, print whatever you need to on there. And um, it does have like lines on the back where it's cut, so you can peel off the backing. But um, you know, those did not fall on a line, so I had to like separate that sticker. So I was having a little trouble with that. And I added these arrows, I thought those were really cute, and then some little hearts throughout here. I just love that silhouette, I think it's just so sweet with the, you know, he's like giving her flowers and it looks like she's got her hair up in a bun it looks like she's wearing like a you know like a poodle skirt and it's just so it's so 50s it's such a cute picture I just wanted something really sweet now here I'm just using the little bit of stickers um, from the florals that I had left over and I'm just covering that um, top line just to I don't know, use up the sticker and to cover up the line. It was so little, it didn't even matter if I covered it, but you know, I can be I can be picky, so so I decided to use the sticker and cover it up. So And here's that page that I was talking about from the um, happy memory keeping sticker book. See how that whole page is all like dedicated for Valentine's? It's so cute. I had some trouble getting the sticker up. I think it was just cut too deep and it was like the paper was coming up with the sticker. So that was a little annoying, but. Now down here, I did not have enough flowers to like fill in the bottom portion. And I really had not planned that out. And I was, I was a little bothered because it was it, did, it looked empty, you know, it needed something. So I grabbed this this Valentine's Day sticker and it fit in there perfectly. And I wasn't quite sure, but you know what? I love it. It turned out really, really nice. I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. So here I'm just adding that last like little punch, but I couldn't really see it. So I just used my X-Acto knife to kind of add a little divot in there. So that way when I lined it up in my punch, I was able to you know, punch it in the right spot. So that one is done and I love it. Like, I love it. I think I'm gonna keep it like open all week long on that because it's so pretty. So now here I am, I'm moving on to my horizontal planner and I, this is my favorite layout and I just really decided 
I'm gonna use this mega sticker book and it's got like all these really great boxes in here. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna create just something really simple. So down here, I am using my Avery paper and I'm just cutting, like I cut out this box shape and I'm just covering that up because I wanted that uh, box covered up and I didn't want it to have the, it was a um, like a dot grid print on there and I didn't want that. So um, decided to cover that up with that Avery paper. So I already pulled like all the stickers that I really wanted to use. I'm just, it's very simple layout of focus boxes and just like headers and I was going to add some checklists in here and not really anything you know pretty going on I just wanted to throw in like the pink and the red and you know make it festive for Valentine but not necessarily add a whole lot of like Valentine decor if you will just really wanted to keep this very functional so what I'm doing here is I'm setting this up to alternate between like focus box on one side and then a checklist on the other side and then the following day just like alternate it. And I found these boxes and the, the side you see like the angle is cut on those bigger boxes and those are really meant for like your monthly layout but I thought that they were really cute and I took these smaller boxes and I just cut a diagonal and added them in there and I thought that that would be awesome. I can, you know, jot in either a time or I have an appointment on Mondays so I'm going to use that like for the time in the little box and then write the actual appointment in the bigger box. And I thought that those were perfect because they've got the hearts on there. They're so cute. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough of those, so I had to compromise and add some other boxes here to, um, you know, fill in the rest of the days so that way I could kind of keep the same, same concept running through. Now, these little icons are really cute. One is a dinner one, and the other is a TV. And honestly, I hardly ever use these little icons, and I thought, you know, I'll do it in this week because I want to make this very functional so I can, you know, jot down um, what we're going to have for dinner each night. And we don't watch much TV, so we usually watch like an hour a night. Sometimes we're trying to figure out, well, what are we going to watch? So I figure, you know what, I'll use these little TV icons and plan out the week, figure out what we're going to watch. So I'm done with that half for the most part, and you see me cutting the sticker, which I will go back to that. I just, I think I was going to start working at the bottom, but then I decided to just follow through with the rest of the week with the focus boxes and checklists here. I don't know what we're gonna do for Valentine's. My husband was asking me, and I'm like, hmm. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's it's so busy on Valentine's. So we might actually go out on Saturday, but it's probably going to be busy then too, because I think a lot of people might be thinking the same thing. So I think anything we do, it's going to be kind of crowded. That's the thing with like Valentine's or even New Year's. Um, the restaurants are so crowded. So I don't know. We'll see what we do. So I added an additional icon on Sunday and I added the laundry icon there, which we usually do laundry on Saturday, but I don't know what we're going to do Saturday. So I figured oh, I'll just put it on Sunday. And then I grabbed this um, Valentine's Day sticker from the dates and holidays sticker book. So now I am going to work on that bottom section and I want to add some of this confetti and it's so cute. It comes in the colors, the, the red and the pink. And I found this sticker and it says, in love with life. 
and I decided to cut it and because I thought it was so cute and, and I just decided to use it um, in love with George and you know that's my husband so I thought that that would be really cute for Valentine's week and I liked that so now here I am adding um, more of this confetti in here because I just that's all I really want down here just the little confetti and the in love with George little stickers and that's it but um, as you will see I sort of sort of have some trouble here because I didn't really think it out very well with the confetti and I you know put the sticker down on top of the confetti very crooked by the way but um, I put it down here and I didn't like it because you can't really see you can't really see it because the confetti it's just too much so now here I am struggling because now I want to remove some, some of those confettis. So I'm just peeling stickers off and ugh, this, this was an ordeal. I, I was lucky enough because it was on that, that um, paper that, like, that I put down, that Avery paper. And sometimes when you lay things on that paper and you need to pull it back up, it's not very forgiving. So. I actually got really lucky. I also didn't like push the stickers down, you know, lay them, you know, really make sure that they were sticking. So that was helpful, but I am just really having some issues here. <laughs> it was, it was a little, a little bit of a planner mess, but the, it's okay. And then this sticker, I was just having the worst luck with laying this down straight. It was, I don't know what was going on there, but I think I got it. I think the love, the angle of the love was just kind of throwing me off. So it was really, it's really going down crooked, but I got it together. So now I am sort of happy, but I realized that those green stripes, the, the green lines, not stripes, the green lines in there, just no, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I thought I could, I thought I'd be fine with it, and so now here I'm looking at some skinny washi and trying to decide what to do to cover up the green lines because, as I said, I thought that I'd be okay with it, but no, I, I'm i just too picky. I It was going to bother me. I had to take them out. <laughs> I had to change it up. So. Here I am with this like planner mess and now I'm just covering up the lines with the whiteout tape because that, um, you know, I decided I was going to put that washi down. The only thing is, is that the washi was a little bit light. So, oh my goodness, this was such an ordeal. I, it was just such a mess. I'm telling you, I'm like, what did I do here? I didn't think this out very well, but um, so now I'm just covering up all these lines and doing like a horrible job with it because <laughs> I had to take up some of the stickers that I had already laid down because they were just like in the way and oh my goodness, I'm telling you, this was such a mess, but I don't know, I, I'm making it work, I'm making it work, but these things happen, you know. And um, yeah, that's my last day to have to cover up. And then I'm going to add the skinny washi on there. And um, yeah, that's going to be better. It's not my favorite spread. And I, I probably wish I would have thought it out a little bit better. It, it was supposed to be just a really simple, functional, easy laying down stickers kind of Deal, and it turned into this like huge project that yeah anyway I'm just laughing at myself because the things I'm telling you hashtag planner girl problems right like all over this but it worked out I'm getting it done and it's going to be something that I can actually look at for the rest of the week or for the whole week and and use it because 
Oh my gosh, I'm so picky. I know that that, that would have bothered me. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. And I was, I did hesitate when I was like, mm, maybe I shouldn't use the green, you know, maybe I should cover it up. And I actually have pages that, um, from a neutral planner, horizontal planner, that I probably should have used instead, but whatever. Now here, I am covering up the um, center because that green stripe goes, you know, down the center. And yeah, there was just no way that I was going to be able to keep that. So luckily, I have those strips like already cut and I have quite a few of them that I can just grab, you know, already measured out, cut and um, easy to put down. And then here I'm just, um, of course, adding my punches in again. And that's really it. Like I was not gonna add anything down the center. I just wanted to cover up the green. And now here, of course, I have to cover up the February because the February is in green and you know, I couldn't have that, so. Oh my goodness, what a mess. This was like such a mess, but it's, it's turning out. It turned out, so that's what matters. And of course, I go to my holidays and dates sticker book and I grab this February here. And then I just went back to the happy memory keeping and I grabbed that heart with the arrow. I thought that was really cute. I had another one of those in there. And then now this mega sticker book is awesome. There are so many stickers in this book, like so many functional stickers. I really love this book. And um, these are just little icons. There's boxes and there's circles. And I just love them for checklists. They're awesome. So either I use these like little stickers to create my checklist or I've in the past I've just drawn out like little circles or little you know boxes but I have to have some kind of like area there to like check off and to just sort of like itemize each you know item that I have to do because otherwise it just all runs together so I like these little guys. And that is it for this one. Oh my goodness, that was such an ordeal. But you know what? I like it. You know, it turned out good. And it's definitely something that, that I can look at now for the week. So, and I just let, I love that down at the bottom. In love with George is so cute. I showed my husband and he thought it was really sweet. So, but that one is done. It's functional and I've got my checklist in there and my focus boxes and I'm going to really be able to um, plan everything I need to for this week. I have a really busy February so I really need a lot of room, you know, a lot of white space to write things out. I have this awesome spread and I really, really love this one. This is so beautiful. I'm just really, really happy with the way that this turned out. And I th honestly, I think I'm just going to keep this open on my desk like all week long so I could just look at it. And uh, I hope you like this video. Something a little bit different. Uh, decided to be creative and functional in two different spreads, two different styles. If you like this, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. That way you get all of my notifications. I do put videos out every Saturday in the evening. And I am on Instagram at It's a Wonderful Plan. So be sure to follow me there because you will see things there that you do not always see here on my YouTube. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this and have a wonderful week. Bye.